Alright, Jazz. What do you got? According to the latest, the comm spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jim's. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920's security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. She would be wise to do the same. You're in the fleet. You should always expect trouble. As far as Juan goes, even though she's one of our newer contacts, you shouldn't have any problems dealing with her. Definitely. We're talking cargo depots, star yards, research stations, and, like in SY920's case, military outposts. I've never seen someone new to the game have so many contacts. It's the reason we let her join up in the first place. I don't know how she accomplished that. We've been trying to crack some of those places for years. I sure hope so. She might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning... There should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. We paid good money for the information, so I'm sure it works. And if it doesn't, a certain source at MAST is going to have to deal with a very pissed off Neva. And that would be the end of that. You just bring the tech here, I'll do the rest. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal, because you're gonna need it. Are you kidding? The UC has already painted giant red crosshairs on our backs. Keep way and his pals at Sysdef won't rest until we're dead. It's not like you can make them any angrier at us, right? Shoot the place full of holes if you want. Just bring back that calm spike. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Oh, okay. You'll make sure? More like get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. And you, get the hell out of here. And don't come back without that calm spike in your cargo bay. I'm gonna leave that up to you, Rook. If you get into deep trouble, and you think bringing her into the fold is gonna make the difference, tell her whatever you want. At some point, Delgado's gonna be promising everyone their cut of Crix's legacy. If we want him to stick with the fleet, it's inevitable. But until the money's within reach, the less people that know, the better. The Crimson Fleet made contact with her about a year ago. We were searching for a smuggling connection in UC space, and her name kept popping up repeatedly, so I decided to put her to the test. Not only did she pass, but the results were off the charts. Made us both a ton of credits. That was good enough for me. Beyond that, 
I don't know much about her. But hey, as long as she keeps my gal bank account humming, she can keep all the secrets she wants. Good luck. If you want to stay under the radar, I've got just the thing. Anything ship-related, you're at the right place. Sure. It's not like I'm busy keeping this rust bucket of a station from falling apart. I'd love to take your money, but your ship's in perfect condition. And I need your cash. It's a match made in heaven. around here. You stop in whenever you'd like. I'm not much for prayer. Tried it once, didn't stick. But I take it your neighbor's new recruit? have ears. That's why 920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech, so to get it we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. Good. If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. Do not mistake us for amateurs. We will get the job done without sacrificing your route. I appreciate the confidence. I just want to remind you, this job calls for more discretion than your usual swashbuckling adventures. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. I'd like to, but I need to keep a low profile. In my experience, the more people know about you, the more they have over you. Famous last words. But you do this job right, and who knows what the future holds. Anyways, I appreciate the small talk. Elgado's crew aren't usually so chatty. But let's keep our focus on the mission. We can swap bar stories and share scars when we've got enough creds to buy the bar and fix the scars. Enough to be on a first name basis with the Marines working the cops. It also helps they want us to dock. A cargo ship means supplies, special requests, slates from home. In the void of space, a cargo hauler is a soldier's best friend. So I told Only what I've been told. Get you on the SY920, get you out if I can. That being said, I can be a better guide if I know what it is we're after. So, it's up to you. Interesting. When we get to the station, I'll see if I can pull any information on its whereabouts. Hopefully that'll make for a smoother trip. Less than you. 
And even if I did, I'm a smuggler, not a scientist. But if Delgado's after it, then I have a feeling there's a pile of credits waiting at the end of this job. So we better do it right. We'll talk more on the ship. Satisfying moment to return to your ship. As long as the credits keep rolling in, life's good. Always looking for the next mark. Alright, a few things to note. When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Pretend you're a piece of cargo if you have to. Of course, I don't expect it to be. 
The less talking all of us have to do, the better. You'll get no argument from me. It'll be hard enough explaining why I have two new crew members. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. All crew prepare for takeoff. Routing power to engine and grab drive. All systems go. We'll grab jump the SY920 from here. Don't worry about your personal ship. The fleet will make sure it's secure. You can take this time to prepare. Just try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> Noted. Just get us there safe. Roger that. Okay, we're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But, if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. I would hope not. But if they do, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Hello. Jade Swan, loading and unloading only. Stay clear of the military barracks. kid who ate too much heel paste, but look at me now, a marine on a UC star station.
and you found the intercom. That's a start. If I'm not mistaken, the maintenance door should be in front of you. If you can find a way to open it, it'll get you past the first checkpoint. I'm not worried. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Anyway, the door will let you access the vents. Go up the vents and to the barracks. You should find a uniform there. The uniform should get you through the checkpoint and to the elevators. We'll talk again once you get to the command bay. Supposed. That is ours now. Hey. Eh?
No alarms or warnings on the comps. Music to my ears. If you found a uniform, be sure to put it on. They'll provide some cover. I've hacked into the database, and it seems information on the comms spike is in the archives. There's a checkpoint you'll have to pass, which requires a clearance code. Checkpoints have not been a problem so far. There's little reason to think this one would be different. I like the confidence. But remember, they tend to get harder the further you go. Hence, the clearance code. Try the security office. They likely have a computer there that has what you need. Going dark for now. We'll talk again once you've located the comm spike. can succeed at that before we are discovered.
How quickly can you get that done? Need your clearance code, Marine. All right, Ensign, let's hear it. Sorry, Ensign, code doesn't match. Need your clearance code, Marine. All right, Ensign, let's hear it. You're clear, Ensign Zeremi. I assume the two of you are together? Yes, we are t together. Then you're both clear.
tests for the comms back door. Dr. Vogel has put in a request for more personnel. It seems there was an accident. Not to change the subject, but are we concerned about the potential leaks? No. Until you can provide more substantial proof, we'll simply monitor the situation in the cargo bay. For now, I'd recommend you to Dr. Vogel to contact me immediately when you identify some of the suspicious behavior. Any adventure you can feel away from. Is, is that how the saying goes? Dai Yu here. Goggles almost unloaded. We'll be departing shortly. You are. And I've delivered you just as the Gado asked. That being said, I can stay in orbit for a short while. I'll need to send word to Delgado anyway, if you don't get off that station. But it looks like you'll need to find your own way off the ship. That doesn't mean you're trapped. On a station this big, there are bound to be other vessels you can steal. As a member of the Crimson Fleet, I trust you can handle that. I like the confidence. Either way, you're going to get your chance to prove it. Good luck. If you manage to get the comm spike and make it out alive, next time you're at the Nova, I'll buy you a drink. Intercepting transponder data in the harvest system might be promising. According to autocorrelation models, results in risk increased by a magnitude of two. But we won't tell Commander Natar. What she doesn't know won't kill her. Signal pro you name it, I... Don't you mean I... It's attached to a prototype, and we're still in the... It can even enter... Yes, it's not quite cracking the Enigma code. We'll be able to infer every... Not that we... And yes, there are certain kings... Yes, it's not the destination, but the journey that matters. <laughs> Particularly when the destination is death. But don't worry. We've corrected the problem with the ship's life support systems, and statistical models show a failure rate of less than 
In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to Mast. Splendid. That was fast. I thought I put in the request this morning. Normally my requests aren't given this much attention, let alone haste. It seems a tad suspicious. Commander Natara, you say? Oh, well, we don't want to make her angry. She's terrifying. But if this were a duplicate request... You're right. We do need to hurry if we're going to have this module ready in time. You make a compelling case. All right, you've convinced me. You're the new test pilot. You'll need a uniform and a terminal password to authorize a flight and get past Natara's cumbersome checkpoints. The uniform you can get in the locker room area, the password you get from me. You'll find the prototype ship at Docking Bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. And of course, best of luck. You are doing science a great service by undertaking this sacrifice. You'll find the prototype ship at Docking Bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. You'll find the prototype ship at Docking Bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. I've heard the team is looking for test pilots. Yes, if you have experience with 
Commander Woods might be coming back. Maybe that'll put him into all these checkpoints. Reporting for duty, pilot. Another test flight, huh? You pilots are braver than me. You're clear to pass. Don't forget to schedule the flight in the control center. Not just break it open. I doubt it. You see, Marines are way too disciplined.
Prototype ship, you are cleared for takeoff. We'll begin the test on your departure. Recording test flight data. Please adhere to the scheduled flight plan and let us know if you have any issues. of this ship comforting. got a new toy for me. Go on in and give everyone the lowdown. We'll take care of things from here. Your previous ship's being brought back to the dock. That's a real nice... The ship you brought in, I can't wait to tinker with it. Yeah? Delgado, unless you want to get keel hauled across the key. If you got any spare creds or just need to unload some junk, head to the depot. Got mixed feelings. Nice to know Neva was right about you. It's good to have a promising rookie with the fleet. I won't deny I helped. Let's hope the compensation reflects that, huh? Anyway, I believe I owe you a drink. It's the last time I'm paying, of course. Because if Dalgado's right about Crix's legacy, you've earned more than your fair share already with that comm spike. You read my mind. I don't like the thought of putting my routes in jeopardy over an old story. But I respect Elgado and I believe he's on to something. What that is, though, remains to be seen. Whether Crix's legacy is real or not, we have a job to do, and we will see it through. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Now that you've had your drink and my debt is paid, it's time for you to give Delgado the good news. You see system sharks, but to the fleet, they are just as crazy. What a day. You're perfect to end it with a fight. I do not care what assurances you have been given that we are safe here. I do not trust the Crimson Fleet.
Yasmin tells me that you not only brought us the com spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. Yeah, yeah, nice try, Rook. We know you didn't have a choice. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. She gave you some really high praise. Said you were a pro. And from what I hear, receiving praise from Juan Dayu is quite an accomplishment. All in all, a job well done. Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Com spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. Keep me posted. All right, that leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jennerdyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. You damn right she can. My girl can piece together a jump engine with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it. Lost good money on that bet. All right, let's not get carried away, neighbor. Now, why don't you give us the info on our neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. She's had her deft little fingers on the pulse of neon for some time now. Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get. Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward we all split the cash. Don't worry. When Grixis Legacy is aboard the Key, we'll be splitting plenty of cash. Until then, I want you to do everything Estelle asks. Follow her instructions to a letter. She is valuable to the fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. We have dealt with more than a few of your captains. This one should be no problem. You did right by one. But she's almost as green as you two. Estelle is different. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. I'd say don't keep her waiting. But chances are she won't mind. Girl loves her liquor. And keep your eyes on the price. Neon's one big distraction for people like us. So I want you focused. We are one step away from Quix's legacy, and we cannot afford any screw-ups. Vigilance or flagship. We hunt piracy all across the galaxy. It seems you had quite the eventful mission on your hands. You still have the Crimson Fleet's trust, and you were able to spare lives in the process. And on behalf of the United Colonies and Commander Natara, I thank you. Injuring or killing UC personnel would only cause more problems for us, in the long run. Excuse me, sir. I hate to interrupt, but there's still the matter of the comm spike to discuss. Yes, of course, Lieutenant. Time is short, and we should get to the matter at hand. Please give me your report. Then it's just a matter of time before she reverse-engineers it to fit the fleet's purposes. 
So what does Delgado have you doing next? Has he solved the Bannock 4 problem? The conduction grid? That's brilliant, but is it actually possible? It's 80-year-old tech. Sorry, sir. The conduction grid is how Neon generates its power. It essentially absorbs lightning strikes and converts it to usable energy. It would take a hell of an engineer to modify the technology to handle Bannock 4's EM field. An engineer, like Jasmine Durand. That's the case. Inform our contacts on Neon that our operative will be touching down there in the near future. Absolutely, sir. And before you depart, I wanted you to know that your efforts are helping us gain interest among my superiors. They're finally beginning to believe that we can take down the Crimson Fleet and make amends for the UC's embarrassing mistake. It's long overdue. All right, I suppose that's all for now. I'll be looking forward to your next report. Good luck. And please, be careful. What can I do for you? Remember to turn in any evidence fragments you find. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Tried Aurora once. I did not enjoy the experience. for you. 